Was Albert Einstein right when he predicted that we would never be able to see to the edge of the universe? The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has recently observed a strange void in the extremely early universe that could confirm this prediction. But what are we really seeing? Is it truly a void, and could it be related to the universe's beginning? Scientists may have discovered a shocking fact. A mysterious void from the beginning of time might validate a remarkable prediction by Albert Einstein. Imagine, a century ago, when scientists began exploring beyond the Milky Way. What they found was astonishing. Initially, they saw only hazy nebulae, which were later identified as distant galaxies. The small and large Magellanic clouds were among the first visible, followed by the Andromeda galaxy. Eventually, scientists were stunned to realize the vast number of galaxies beyond our own. These discoveries led to concepts like galaxy evolution and the infinity of the universe. Then Edwin Hubble observed that distant galaxies were moving away from us, leading to the concept of an expanding universe. Shortly afterward, Belgian scientist Georges Lemaitre proposed the Big Bang Theory. This period of discovery occurred slightly after Albert Einstein introduced his theories of relativity. Many theoretical predictions made in the 1910s and 1920s were confirmed by these new discoveries. However, Einstein was uncertain throughout his life whether the universe truly had a beginning and an end. Although he fundamentally accepted the Big Bang Theory, Einstein was always confident about another intriguing question. Even if the universe did have a beginning and an end, he was sure that we would never be able to see this beginning or end regardless of how advanced our telescopes became. How did Einstein arrive at this idea and what does it have to do with the void discovered by the James Webb Telescope? Albert Einstein was one of the most influential physicists of the 20th century, and his predictions are still cornerstones of modern science. One profound prediction was that we could never directly observe the absolute beginning of the universe. Einstein gave two interesting reasons for this. Firstly, the theory of the Big Bang and related models suggested that there was no light for hundreds of thousands of years immediately after the Big Bang. This period is now referred to as the Dark Ages. How could we observe a time or event with telescopes when there was no light? Today there are exciting alternatives, such as radio telescopes. These do not detect light but pick up radio waves. Researchers are fairly confident that the Big Bang was not a loud explosion, but occurred in silence. Essentially, space as we understand it did not exist before the Big Bang, and space itself was formed as a result of this event. Radio telescopes detect waves that fall outside the audible spectrum. Space does not conduct sound, and only a few types of waves penetrate the interstellar medium, which can be made audible with modern technology. Therefore, we would not be able to hear the supposedly silent beginning of the universe. The cosmic microwave background radiation, discovered in the 1960s, provides evidence of the Big Bang but has not directly led us to the event itself. Thus, we still lack a method to detect or prove the absolute beginning or the Big Bang. Einstein also believed that we might never be able to see the universe's beginning or edge due to its expanding nature. He thought the beginning would continuously move away from us, beyond our observational range. Additionally, Einstein considered the possibility of a curvature in space, suggesting that the starting point could be hidden behind a kind of horizon, permanently obscuring our view. At that time, the best telescopes could barely resolve neighboring galaxies. Today, we know of millions of galaxies in a vast universe. Although the cosmos is rich and expanding, the spaces between galaxies and galaxy clusters are so immense that we can observe up to 13.6 billion years into the past with our telescopes. This brings us close to the Big Bang, and with the James Webb Space Telescope, we are even closer. However, 
the JWST does not reveal what scientists envisioned as the Big Bang a century ago. The JWST discovered a fascinating void. While the JWST has identified a large number of ancient galaxies which challenged the traditional view of the Big Bang, it also uncovered a peculiar void that might support Einstein's prediction about the unobservability of the universe's absolute beginning. Absolute voids are enigmatic regions in the universe so devoid of matter that they seem to contradict the theory of relativity. How can a void confirm Einstein's ideas about the unobservability of the beginning? Initially, it was thought that such emptiness indicated the Dark Ages, a period with no stars or galaxies. Some researchers believe this discovery confirmed the existence of this period. However, it was later revealed that the void was extremely distant. We also know of more recent voids, which present their own puzzles. In the early universe, voids are considered scientific impossibilities as they contradict the idea of a homogeneous universe, which is closely tied to the Big Bang theory and expansion. These voids are too large and peculiar, conflicting with some foundational aspects of cosmology. Thus, a void does not conclusively confirm Einstein's prediction. Nonetheless, the JWST supports Einstein's view in another way. It has found no direct trace of the universe's beginning or its early stages. The images of the early universe show structures and galaxies that do not appear markedly different from those observed in the closer universe. Could a void represent the origin of the universe? While we cannot entirely rule this out, we still do not fully understand what voids are. It remains unclear how the universe truly began. Voids may be empty, but we cannot be sure. They might contain unknown types of matter or phenomena. Some theorize that voids might be dark galaxies, parallel worlds, or remnants of universe collisions in a multiverse. Other speculative theories suggest that aliens could use voids to harvest energy. These mysterious voids challenge our scientific understanding and give rise to wild theories. It is possible that our universe originated within a large void. The fact that we cannot disprove this idea reinforces such speculation. This raises questions about matter's creation and the nature of singularities. We have discussed the concept of nothingness from which the universe supposedly emerged. If that was the absolute starting point, how could we observe it? After all, it was nothing and thus not detectable. A singularity is a point where all forces are so condensed that our measurements fail or where everything exists in one point. This point represented a fluctuation of possibilities in a state of perfect equilibrium until an unknown event disrupted this balance, leading to creation from this tiny point. Everything we know today emerged from this point, meaning all life, stars, and planets were contained within this minuscule dot of nothing. The question of how such a small point could encompass everything remains one of science's great mysteries. Singularities are also found in black holes, which reside at the centers of most known galaxies. Black holes result from the collapse of massive stars, as scientists believe. No one has been inside a black hole, and, as discussed, we have limited ways to observe the universe's absolute starting point if it exists. Current knowledge relies on theories that seemed plausible until the JWST presented unexpected findings. The JWST suggests that the universe may be much older than previously thought or that its nature deviates from earlier predictions. Black holes are one of cosmology's greatest mysteries. Enormous, heavy, and likely possessing infinite forces, making them impossible to fully explore using conventional methods. Scientists now hope that advanced supercomputers leveraging quantum intelligence will decode the universe's secrets and reveal true connections. Meanwhile, 
innovative chip technologies are exploring water storage capacity to achieve extraordinary computing power.